Welcome back. More stump. This panda has come a long way to be here. Beautiful. Oh! For some reason I thought that one would move when I went on it instead of automatically. Okay, come on, don't be silly now. <laughs> this panda cannot follow long distance. It's really weird. Like, it rings out so fast. Like, faster than anything else. I'm used to saying, I, I can't quite make, it, make that jump because it, it eventually falls straight down. See, this would be really fun to, to do in a cheaty way, but it's actually a little bit harder than it looks. Oh, come on now. There you go. Oh no, yes, yeah, because you drop here, so it's a little hard to just jump across there. The little things like, ah, oh, I didn't realize the platform moved there. That was one of my better jumps with the panda, actually. Wow. I usually have a really hard time jumping like that with a panda. Ah! Darn it. It's so tempting to try to do things like jumping like this with the panda, too. And sometimes I can do it on the first try. But I, I had like a serious concern the panda wouldn't be able to survive that journey. Ooh, I like that little box in there. I really do wish I could see someone. I mean, perhaps I could. There is someone that got platinum on the, all the levels in this game, I think, or at least gold. I think, on YouTube. I wonder if they... I don't know if they use any exploits, because I didn't actually look at their videos. Although, they own interest, probably should. And maybe I should at some point because I'm kind of curious if they come up with any like cool tricks for anything or anything like that. Or even if just there were any cases of thinking, oh hey, this level would, or this marble is really good for, for this kind of exploit or for that or something like that. Basically what I'm trying to say is I'm curious if this game has much of a meta game that people find interesting, or that people could find interesting. Evidently, the answer to whether they did is or do is no. So sort of that tube is there, but I don't think you use it unless I'm just not paying enough attention. I guess there's no reason for getting these golds, because nothing's happening, but I keep doing it anyways, just to prove I can, I guess. Start. I agree, Anthony. That's what the screen said, too. In fact, Anthony, you called the start a little early. Does Anth I think here's an issue with Anthony. I've, I've identified a few good and bad things about Anthony. I think one problem with Anthony is that whenever Anthony actually says anything of value, it's something that's already elsewhere on the screen. Does that seem like kind of questionable design? Can I fit through here? Yes, I can. Panda is a little too girthy sometimes. Yeah. I like that. Drop on through. Cool. The only thing that Anthony really says otherwise that might be actually good is encouragement when you have problems, but I don't think Anthony's really especially skilled in terms of encouraging you either. Although I did admittedly appreciate what they said on a few occasions in hard mode, even though I acknowledged Anthony a few times. Actually. I love it when the sounds of the panda sync to music. I think those can squish you on other difficulties, but not on this one for some other reason. Eh. Break on down! Break on through, Panda! Charging! Charging through the walls. Smashing him like a juggernaut. Awesome. Unstoppable. Truly. 
Nothing can stop Fast Panda from going fast, except for Fast Panda itself. Look at this, it's a highway. Be fast, Panda. Be fancy, be free. Run fat, run fancy. Or roll fat, roll fancy, I guess. Ah, oh, Man, it's on your platinum. Yeah, see, you really gotta... It takes more skill than that for platinum. So yeah, what's the point of the Golden Sunflower? And or guns, Golden Sunflower Seed again? Can you remind me, Anthony? What did you do to those other ants? Did you like a... What, is a... Is this... Is the Golden Seed like like a... Like a race fear? Do you just like absorb their life and, and take it for yourself? Can you shoot like... Oh, there they are. Do you have like sugar-based powers now? Do they not, is it not made apparent what the point of the flower sunflower seed was here? In the actual ending? I didn't, see, I, I, I didn't get to see the opening because... Is that everything? I didn't get to see the opening because... Uh, you have to press A. Why not try your hand at normal? You don't even get to see the credits, do you? Ah, oh, there's a song. Yeah. Don't even get to see the credits. You're not done here. Interesting. So survival, I don't know what it actually is. I don't think I'm that interested, honestly. Which might be kind of a bad thing to say. The bonus stages are just the... Yeah, I don't mind those are grouped separately. Maybe you have to use, actually do time attack mode to, to unlock stuff, which I don't know what the point of that would be since, I mean, I already, like, I, I already have times on things. It might be something like that to unlock the faces and whatnot for different marbles. In any case, and we have a few minutes left for this episode. In fact, if you'll excuse me a second. How many episodes are recorded? This is the third episode of tonight. So, you can probably find time to go through at least some of these. Oops. Yeah, setting that thing up when you don't actually have a, a balance board doesn't work very well. Do these not have descriptions? Oh, not here. That's weird. Why do they, why do they not have descriptions on balance board? Oh! I think they actually might all roll the same or something really weird like that on... On hard mode, if I remember right. Or on, um, on the balance board mode. Yeah. I, that's unfortunate I don't have these. Uh, I believe you can look online to see what they are, though. And I think it's... I think it's... Just from... Like, one of the very few pieces of information you can find online about this game, I think, is how to unlock all of those. And what they are, I think. What do we want to use? Um, after all this time, well, the Saturn served us well, but I don't think we even need to to, to, to say that anymore. Like, the journey of going through hard mode with Saturn was its own reward and recognition for that marble. Panda we just did everything with. I don't think there's much point to most of these other marbles using them. You know, I do like acknowledging them. But marble, like, why not? So this one's, can you go straight? That's that's a legitimate question. Yeah, this roll, well, it might be that I'm not using the panda, but that thing really rolls. I think, I don't remember. Oh, you don't even get rated on your time. Yeah, it's just like here, to be here. Oh wait, but there are also, um, well, you can r compare your time against other people is the thing. Uh, I like the background here. I forgot the background. It's kind of weird how they have scissors in the background here. But yeah, I love the the tutorial set, the cardboard levels. It is weird that I unlocked this after completing hard mode on this file, on my actual, on my first file I ever made for this game. 
I unlocked it after getting partway through hard mode. I don't know why that is. Maybe unlock after a certain amount of time or something? I don't know. But I think every marble might control the same here. We can see though, things will get more interesting later. I do wish there were more difficult levels with this with this set. With this part set, that's to say with the tutorial theme. Just because I think it's so pretty. Like I think these are the only actual levels that the game has with with this theme, if I remember right. I don't think there are any actual levels for the normal game that use this part set. Because I think otherwise only tutorials use this. And I have there are weird little things that I like games doing, like um, coming back to to an easier place or part of the game or something like that, and making it more difficult. Like for instance, what I'm thinking about now is it would have been nice to be able to come back to this tutorial set and then actually have that be some of the most difficult levels. In part, I think, because it would be really appropriate as a setting for something tough that you have to concentrate on, because it's really nice and calm and, and all that. So we're not getting trophies after these. I demand recognition. Fast Panda got as much recognition as they need. But I do, like, the aspect of this game of just kind of, like, sitting down, taking a deep breath, and, and working at it. I don't play, I, I don't play much in the way of games to begin with these days, but definitely, like, games like this, they're more skill-oriented. Just because I'm usually playing licensed stuff, and that tends to be more generic, I guess. Like, younger audience fare. Which... This game kind of is, just not licensed. But it's kind of abnormal for that, in that it has such a high skill ceiling. So it was a nice game to play a game like this, where I can actually really put in some effort in something. But man, just to, it generally feels very fair, this game. I'm actually very pleased with the difficulty of this game. Because there are games that are hard, but they don't feel fair. Or they're not a good or fun kind of hard. It's also good that I managed to always actually make progress in this game within a reasonable amount of time, which I did not actually assume was the case going into things. Oh, look at that! We actually do get to see more. It's like, start kinds of set pieces in here. This is nice. It's one, of my, one of the reasons I was always sad this, this theme didn't get used in the game was that it has lots of set pieces like that that you can see once you unlock it to use for yourself, but no levels use them. Like that little protractor or whatever that was there. Come on. And the tubes. Like, you don't get to see these in the tutorial. You only get to see these here. And also, because these levels are so short, you don't get to hear more of the song. I don't know... If, I've probably heard this part of this song before, but... It's been a very long time. I don't remember it. I like getting to hear it. But I do like, this might sound kind of weird, I like the idea of having really hard levels here that give you a nice, comfortable, safe, clean environment and calm environment to tackle some of the hardest challenges the game has to offer. Because it's so totally ideal for, for being willing to take on something that would otherwise be incredibly frustrating. Like, everything being as calm... <coughs> stuff in my throat. Being as calming as possible, and pleasant as possible, and as de-stressing as possible to help you cope with the most stressful levels in the game. It's kind of a silly idea, but for some reason I like it. And even, like, not having... And even levels like this one where you don't actually get timed, insofar as you don't get, um... Your time doesn't get graded, I guess. You don't get trophies. It's just, can you complete it? There's nothing grinding or anything. 
nothing to be worried about if it takes you a long time to do it, or if you have a hard time doing it. It's all about just eventually completing it, or something like that. I don't know. I'll actually finish up the... Oh, and you see those, those pencils. See? Little things like that. But we'll finish this up and then in the episode here. Instead of... Well, not, I guess. <laughs> this one's like an actual... Yeah, so this one's mimicking those actual... Well, I don't know what do you call them. Like little marble mazes. You'd usually have a little metal marble and you had to navigate it through a little maze like this. A uh, little toy, I guess you'd call it like that. It's nice that you get to see the game imitating one of those. There's so many things you can do with this genre. As simple as it might sound. I admit, someone did compare this game to Super Monkey Ball, and I'm kind of tempted to admit to try that too, but like, it's not the same thing, man. It, it's it's not the same when... I feel like that Maybe I'm wrong. And considering the popularity and how long that series has gone on for, I don't know if they still make Super Monkey Ball games. Maybe I, I'm i totally wrong about this, but I feel like there's not as much potential in, in the Super Monkey Ball concept as there is in the incredible amount of stuff we saw in this game. Like, there were st I went through so many levels, like a couple hundred levels, and still we're seeing new ideas like this one. There's still more fun, silly things this game can do. Like, you can hop. There we go. I wasn't sure if I could. It would be really hard to do that on a balance board. But I'll talk more about this game next episode, because that'll be the, probably the last episode I'll be playing this game ever. And I'll try to really sum up my thoughts then. So, see you then, where we hope... It might even be a little bit... Well, wait. It actually might be two more episodes. We'll see. But I'll try to do that in the next episode or two. Bye, everyone.